Leonardo da Vinci, and Michelangelo, Prominent Men of the Renaissance Times, by Kelly Babauta. Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo were two of the most prominent men of the Renaissance Times. Comparison between two famous Renaissance men. Leonardo da Vinci was one of the most famous artists in the High Renaissance times. He was born in Vinci, Italy on April 15, 1452 and died on May 2, 1519 in Amboise, Kingdom of France. Some of his famous works were Mona Lisa, The Last Supper, Invention of His Three-Tier Machine Gun, and The Vitruvian Man, among others. Michelangelo was another famous artist in the Renaissance time. He was born Michelangelo Buonarroti on March 6, 1475 in Caprese, Italy and died in February 18, 1564 in Rome, Italy. Some of his famous works were David, the Pieta, The Hands of God and Adam, The Face of God, St. Peter's Basilica, The Dome, Medici Chapel, and Tomb of Gilano de Medici, among others. Leonardo the Man Leonardo was born in the town of Vinci, Italy. This is where his name came from. Leonardo da Vinci means Leonardo of Vinci. Not much is known about his childhood. His father had a number of wives and was wealthy. At the age of 14, he became the apprentice to Vidocchi, a famous artist who taught Leonardo about art, drawing, painting, and more. Leonardo is known as the Renaissance man because he is good at everything. Leonardo was an artist, inventor, and a scientist. Leonardo the Artist Leonardo's most famous piece of art is the Mona Lisa. This painting is also known as La Giconda, which means the laughing one. Another one of Leonardo's most famous pieces of art is the Last Supper, known in Italian as Le Cenacola or Le Ottima Cena. This painting over the years has had many wondering the secrets behind it. An example of this would be the salt shaker that is tipped over in front of Judas, which stands for bad luck. Another so-called secret, if you choose to believe it, would be that the person sitting to the right of Jesus, to the left when you are looking at the picture, is really Mary Magdalene and not John the Apostle. This painting took about three years for Leonardo to complete. Leonardo the Inventor and Scientist Leonardo created drawings of many inventions, including the three-tier machine gun and other war machines. He also created drawings for hang gliders, helicopters, and musical instruments. He was also a scientist who was interested in the human body. He had many drawings of different parts of the body, but his most famous is the Vitruvian Man. This drawing was so popular that it is now even on the Italian Euro coin. Michelangelo the Man Michelangelo was born in Caprese, Italy. His birth name was Michelangelo de Lodovico Buonarroti Simoni. He grew up in Florence, Italy when his parents moved there when he was young. His mother died when he was six years old. His father was a local government official and wanted Michelangelo to go to school. He grew up during the Italian Renaissance, and even as a child, he wanted to paint and be an artist. At 13 years of age, he was apprentice to Domenico Ghirlandio, a painter and an artist. He then was trained under the Medici family sculptor. Bertoldo di Giovanni. Michelangelo was a sculptor, painter, and architect.
Michelangelo the Sculptor Michelangelo moved to Rome in 1496, and one year later, he was asked to sculpt the Pieta. This was one of the masterpieces of the Renaissance era. This sculpture depicts Jesus after he was crucified lying on the lap of his mother Mary. This sculpture now sits in the St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. This is the only piece of art that Michelangelo signed. The sculpture of David is Michelangelo's most famous work of art. Many art experts consider this a near-perfect sculpture. David stands 13 feet tall at the Academy of Fine Arts in Florence, Italy. Michelangelo the Painter In 1508, Michelangelo was commissioned by the Pope to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. He did not consider himself a painter, but a sculptor. But he agreed to paint the Sistine Chapel for the Pope. It took Michelangelo four years painting upside down on a scaffold to finish the painting. The painting is 141 feet long and 43 feet wide. Michelangelo's work is amazing. He painted nine scenes from the Bible down the center of the chapel. There were over 300 people that he painted, each not like the other. The most famous of the nine scenes is the creation of Adam. The center painting of this famous scene is the hands of God and Adam. This painting depicts God's hand and Adam's hand nearly touching. Along with the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, this is one of the most famous paintings in history. Below this painting is another one of Michelangelo's most famous scenes, the face of God. Michelangelo the Architect Michelangelo decided to use the original Greek cross plan to design the dome of St. Peter's Basilica, and he supervised its construction until his death in 1564. This was during the pontification of Paul III. The St. Peter's Basilica is the home of Michelangelo's Pieta. The dome was designed by Michelangelo, and he began his work in 1547. He died before it was finished, and his pupil, Giacomo de la Porta, completed the work in 1590. The dome measurements are inner diameter of 42.56 meters, and it measures 136.57 meters from the base to the top of the cross. This was used as a model for other domes. The Medici Chapel is another one of Michelangelo's architectural buildings. This was built to house the tombs of Giulamo and Lorenzo de' Medici. This tomb was created from 1520 to 1534. The Renaissance Men Both Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo were born in the Renaissance times, but one 23 years later than the other. Two men, both born in Italy, in the Renaissance time, but with two different personalities and talents. They were both artists in their own way. But they were different in that Leonardo was an inventor and Michelangelo was a sculptor. Leonardo was a scientist and Michelangelo an architect. They both, however, were artists in painting. They both were considered Renaissance men because they both were brilliant men with many talents. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation, and I hope you enjoyed it. Kelly Babauta